In this video, I'm going to give my theory on how I think we can discover the Bandersnatch Golden Easter Eggs. If you're unaware, the director, David Slade, has said there are Golden Easter Eggs that are so difficult to reach that they may, ne may never be unlocked. And they're scattered throughout Bandersnatch's many endings. He says there are scenes that some people just will never see and we had to make sure that we were okay with that. Now, many of us by now have already reached the typical standard endings. However, I've been really combing through this movie or really what I want to call a game. I think we need to look at this as it's a game and not a movie. And I believe I may have found some clues or really the clues just kind of jumped out at me. Rather, the game was telling me. And I think the most pivotal scene in this movie to give us these clues or to guide us down the right path to find our way is the scene in which Stefan and Colin take the LSD. So let's kind of pick this apart real quick just so we can get a baseline and we're all on the same page. In the scene, Colin says people think there's one reality, but there's loads of them all snaking off like roots. And what we do on one path affects what happens on the other path. Time is a construct. See, I think that's very important. See, in this scene, I don't think they're talking about the game or the movie. I think really what they're doing is they're talking to us, the viewers who are playing the game. And they're telling us that there are many paths that you can take through this game. Of course, we know that there are many paths. But I think it's leading us to the fact that if you want to get to these golden Easter eggs, you must go down a certain pathway to find yourself there. He goes on to say, people think you can't go back and change things, but you can. That's, what's fla that's what flashbacks are. And I think that's the key right there, flashbacks. They're invitations to go back and make different choices. I want to ask you a question. Have you had any flashbacks in this movie? If you have it, I'm going to say you haven't played it enough. You haven't watched it enough because today, as I started watching it, something weird started happening that has never happened before. I started getting flashbacks whenever I would make a choice and this had never happened. And I found this very odd and it led me down to something, but I'll get to that in a second. Let's go on with this whole spiel that um, Colin talks about. So go on, it says, when you make a decision, you think it's you doing it, but it's not. And he's talking about us, the viewers making the decisions for him. It's the spirit out there that's connected to our world that decides what we do. And we just have to go along for the ride. Again, that's us, you know, picking our choices through this movie, through this game. Then he talks about mirrors let you move through time. And I'm going to speculate he's talking about when Stefan goes through the mirror and comes back to be a child and he gets to make choices as a child. Going on, he says the government monitors people. They pay people to pretend to be your relatives, a.k.a. Colin's dad, or excuse me, Stefan's dad. And they put drugs in your food and they film you again. This is also Stefan's dad. Not only that, there's a scene which I found that leads me to believe that um, I, his name is, is passing me right now, but the owner of the video game company is also working for what I consider to be the government or PAX. Now it says, it goes on to say, there's messages in every game. And I think this is a clue to the nosedive game. And I think somewhere in that game that you can download from that website, there's going to be some sort of secret, some sort of clue that's going to take us one step further. And then Colin goes on to say, like Patman, do you know what PAC stands for? program and control he's program and control man the whole thing's a metaphor he thinks he's got free will but really he's trapped in a maze in a system all he can do is consume he's purged by demons that are probably just in his own head and even if he does manage to escape by slipping out one side of the maze what happens he comes right big back in on the other side and again i think he's talking about us here and he goes on to say, people think it's a happy game. It's not a happy game. It's a fucking nightmare world. And the worst thing is it's real and we live in it. Now he's talking about themselves. Then he goes on to talk about it's all code. Now, obviously the game is code. What's the big thing about that? I'm not really sure. 
Who knows? He goes on to say, if you listen closely, you can hear the numbers. Now, this is something a lot of people have talked about, and they talk about the 20541 number, but I really don't think that is a number. That's way too obvious. And when that scene is going is going on, the doctor is actually saying all for one, one for all. And I think that at some point that those numbers are going to come into play. Now, those aren't five digits, but as soon as she says that, the scene cuts away and it shows the number three on her door, making a total of five digits. So I think that number is going to come into play. I know there's a lot of people who say that number doesn't matter or there's no way to enter in any other matter, but I think if you go down a certain path, it will unlock the ability to use that number, possibly. Now he goes on to say there's a cosmic flow chart that dictates where you can and where you can't go. I've given you the knowledge. I've set you free. Do you understand? So basically, I think that they have laid out everything that we really need to know to solve these problems right here. Now, solving them is going to be the challenge. But this, I believe, is the pivotal clues into guiding us down the proper path to find these golden Easter eggs. All right. So now that we got that out of the way, I want to talk about these flashbacks. So as I started playing the movie, I would make a choice. And then suddenly, as soon as I made the choice, it would just show this short, like half a second flashback. It immediately it clicked. Aha. I think this is telling me I've made a wrong choice and it's guiding me to perhaps a proper choice. So what I've started doing is I've started tracking every choice I've made and then tracking what was right and what was wrong. And once the, I finish the movie, I go back, I start over and I change them. And this has been repeatable. So if I got one, what I believe to be wrong, I would do the other choice. And what I found is when I did the other choice that was initially wrong, I didn't get a flashback. And that led me to believe that perhaps that was a proper choice and I was making the right choice at that time. So again, I think the key to getting down the proper path to potentially unlocking some of these Easter eggs, these golden Easter eggs, is these flashbacks. And I think they're going to be providing the clues that we need to build a proper path of choices to find some sort of unlocked golden Easter eggs. Now tell me what you think in this video. Have you seen these flashbacks? I haven't seen anybody talk about this on Reddit at all. If you've seen these, let me know if you've made any progress or if you've come across any weird sequences. That's the other thing I've had is now that I've gotten this far and I'm making these choices, I'm finding these weird sequences that I have never seen before. And I'll try to put some in the video here real quick just to let you see what these are. And to me, I think this is a sign that you're heading down the right path and it's kind of like an indicator that you made the right choice all right everybody let me know what you think am i onto something or am i completely delusional from lack of sleep go ahead leave your comments and let me know what you think all right guys that's going to do it for today if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you have not subscribed go ahead click that subscribe button and tap that bell and remember i will see you on the other side